I'm going to take this and make this. So you might be wondering where the heck and why the heck is Anthony using this steel to make this smoker? It's got to be making it way more difficult. You're correct. But the uh, guy who's hired me to do this project is a big fan of reusing what he's taken from jobs. So he wanted a smoker made out of this scrap steel that he cut out of a freezer floor. I'm all for the reuse, but unfortunately that comes with a price because it is a lot more difficult to use um, warped, bent, spliced together material than it would be brand new sheets. It's got its pluses and its negative. <laughs> So we started with a new trailer from a place around the corner called r and Trailer. It was cheaper for us to buy the trailer than it was to build it at I think $999 for this thing. So uh, I told the customer just to go ahead and go for that. It was customer specified that he wanted it built on top of the trailer like this. This is all his design. Uh, I'm just bringing it to life and problem solving as I go. So the square stock C-channel, angle iron, all that stuff came off the stairway job that I was doing earlier this year for this very same contractor. So uh, the idea was to go ahead and take that and reuse it in this project. We did end up buying some angle iron, but other than that, it's all dropped from previous jobs. But mankind won't be destroyed. That you and I are working here today. So what we're doing here is laying the divider in. One side is, is going to be strictly for pigs and the other side is going to be just for him to do his general smoking in. In an attempt to make this thing as airtight as possible, we drew the floor back up into the wall so that way uh, we wouldn't have any air gaps between the two chambers. This metal came from the bottom of a commercial freezer floor that was demoed with a demo saw. So nothing was straight. We had to go back and use a chalk line to straighten everything out and uh, make sure we had everything nice and square before we hung it. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass bray. <laughs> The other fellow you see here is Trevor. He ends up helping me with about a quarter of this project before he gets whisked off to other work for the general contractor that I'm building this for. But uh, it was nice to have his help while it lasted. So 
as you can see so far, we've made pretty good progress on the smoker build. We've got the bones of it pretty much done. We'll see how she turns out. I'm sorry for most of this video being a time lapse, but it's hard to work and film and deal with it. I really don't have the, uh, the time if I want to make any sort of money on this thing. So, all right, well, I hope you enjoy the time lapse. What I'm doing here is just cutting the doorways out. This is going to be a draw style smoker. All right, so our first of three draws has come together. Just got to make the outside lip. One of the things I really struggled with on this project was keeping the door straight after I cut them out from the sheet metal. Because it had been warped and welded in several different sections, when I cut it apart, I just wanted to kind of go back to its original form. The side you see me working in now is going to be for pigs. That's why it's so much taller and it also is going to have a much larger draw than the other side. This is just another instance in which this crane comes in so handy. Lifting these sheets and trying to hold them in position is it's just so difficult if you don't have something to lift them the way this crane So how I decided to go ahead and shape this metal for the side pieces was just hang it preemptively, weld it on, and then go ahead and cut the rest off with the torch. So what you see me working on now is the frame for the smoke box, and um, that's going to be a dual chamber smoke box as well, so each side has its own independent smoke box. So this is just a divider between the two smoke boxes. Um, like I said, one side is for pigs exclusively and the other side is just for whatever else you can imagine.
the doors are going to be at the top of these smoke boxes. Uh, that was customer specified. I'm not really sure what the difference is between a door that opens from the back or from the top, but that's what he wanted, so that's what we gave him. You'll notice I'm welding a lot of this downhill and that's because it's not structural and that's because also I mean it's a, it's a smoker it's not going anywhere so I was using 6010 and 6011 to put this thing together just kind of whatever I had on the truck that day Here I'm just making the door lids to the smoker box. So I just want to take a second guys to kind of show you what I've been dealing with. Um, you can see none of this sheet is straight and that's throughout the whole project. This has been taking me a very long time to do, and uh, that's mostly why is because I'm, I'm straightening the sheet as I go. It's very time consuming. Would have been much quicker to have a brand new sheet, but you know, we wanted to make this out of recycled materials and that's what we're doing. <laughs> to continually pull the sheet like I'm doing here throughout this whole project. this bandana on the back of my welding hood to block the glare from the sun. It makes it very hard to follow an arc when you got a glare coming in. I'm at the point where I'm just going to go ahead and weld this thing all the way out. If you couldn't tell, this is where I got my video for the how to weld a gap on uh, thin sheet metal. Um, in the front of this thing, there was just a big gap where the sheets just couldn't get them to hang correctly. And 
I had to go ahead and try to fill that and the copper backing bar trick was the best thing I could come up with. So uh, we're going to install the intakes. I had these cut out of the local plasma shop. I think they're going to work good enough to get him all the air he needs. Hopefully it does it. If not, we'll just uh, come back and we'll do some side vents as well. <laughs> Layout was very important to me. I wanted to make sure this thing was appealing to the eye as well as uh, well functioning. So here I'm just making some exhaust vents and we're using the uh, four by four steel that was left over from the columns of the stairway job to do this. So I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed this smoker build. Um, this is Scott finally getting to enjoy and use his smoker after waiting patiently for three months for me to make this thing. Um, the meat turns out great, as you'll see in a minute. I hope you like, subscribe, share this video, do what you can. I put a lot of effort into this one. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Keep pushing rod. Keep doing what you do. And again, I'm Melton Metal Anthony. Nice and flat, how flat those doors are. Nice and flat. And Mr. Clean says subscribe or else.